If you're a teacher or you're a trainer and you need to produce videos, educational videos, perhaps for an online course that you're producing, or perhaps for content that you want to provide to your students, or perhaps like me, for making educational videos for YouTube, I really think that Camtasia is the ideal tool. And I'm gonna give you today five reasons in this quick video why I particularly like Camtasia. I'm gonna cover the following features. So one of the best features is that you can add subtitles literally at the click of a button. I'm gonna show you how you can add chapters so you can divide up your training video into different sections. We're gonna look very quickly at how you record slides, how you can add narration at the end, which is a technique I often use. And then we're gonna finish with just looking at how simple it is to share a video once you've created it, either to save onto your computer or to put on YouTube. Really hope you like the video. As always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So watch this with the subtitles. It's a new feature in Camtasia 2024. It's a massive game changer. I'm gonna click on captions. I've got some narration here on the screen and I'm just gonna literally drag this onto the screen, the subtitle, dynamic subtitles, and place that on top of where the audio is. And what will happen now is that it will actually pick up my voice and it will produce the subtitles. Now I can edit them, but let me just quickly show you. First of all, they're very accurate anyway, but let me just show you the result. I'm gonna play this video now. It's actually the introduction to the video that you're watching. So one of the best features is that you can add subtitles literally at the click of a button. Now, isn't that good? Really, really easy. Of course, you can resize the subtitles. You can do lots of things as you always can in Camtasia. For example, to the colors, let's say you wanted to choose a different color subtitle, you can do that. And of course, you can go in and edit the subtitles. If you just simply click on the um, audio file, notice that you can come down here let me need to just pull this down and you can go in and change anything in the subtitles uh, if for example it does pick up and of course it does occasionally pick up a word incorrectly but if you speak really clearly you can literally add subtitles at the click of a button before we move on to the second feature if you do happen to see this video before the 5th of December 2024 there is the opportunity to see me giving a presentation that is organized by TechSmith Camtasia well I will be looking at how I use TechSmith Camtasia to generate videos for my YouTube channel which has more than 80,000 subscribers on it and if you're interested in attending that webinar and it is free, then I will put the link in the description below. Right, let's move on with part two. So you'll notice in this video as well that I'm using chapters. That is a way of dividing up the video into different sections, which is really common when we're making educational videos. Now, how do I do that? Let me delete that off the screen and show you how I actually do this because it literally takes me seconds. In Camtasia, we have something called the Camtasia Library. And if we go into that library, we have a brilliant section called Titles. And within that, there's the one that I'm using today. I'm gonna to just drag that onto the screen. So this is kind of like my chapter. It divides up and introduces each of the chapters of the video. And all I need now is to come over here on the right and just simply change the text that's on the screen at the moment. And there you can see I've made that update and straight away now we've got our chapters done, looking really professional with a nice animation and the most important thing, I didn't have to do hardly anything. Now, there are quite a number of ways that we can record slides in Camtasia, but I'm just gonna show you the way that I do it. I'm gonna click on the record button here and it's gonna open up the recorder for me, the Camtasia recorder. And there it is on the screen now. And when we open up that Camtasia recorder, all we need to do is to say full screen. 
because I just want to record the whole of the screen. Then I do need to make sure either that I have my web webcam on and off because you can record the screen and your webcam at the same time. So it is possible for me if I wanted just to switch my webcam on and there you'll see me on the screen. I'm not going to include it, but I can do that. Here is obviously where I'm recording the audio and I need to make sure that I've got the right microphone. And here, this is an interesting button and it doesn't exist in all systems. It will record the system's audio. So for example, if you're recording over something that does play sound or play noises or background music or whatever, then you can also record that. So that records anything that's coming from the system that you are recording, and that lays on top of your voice. So I will literally click on this button here and start to record. And I'll just do a few seconds. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. I then click to stop, or what I do is press F10, and that stops the recording. I save that recording, and then it's immediately available to me in Camtasia for editing. It is that easy to record slides. We're going to move on now to look at three more features, but just to point out, I've got a great playlist that is completely free, a collection of videos that deal with Camtasia 2024, and that's on the screen now if you want to watch it. Now, a technique that I often use is to record narration over a pre-recorded video that I've got. And Camtasia makes this really, really easy. And I'm going to show you a great trick here. So I'm going to show you two tricks in one. I'm going to go over to, again to my Camtasia library, but I'm going to use my own libraries so you can create your own libraries. And I'm just going to drag on the screen a little bit of video. So we'll drag this video onto the screen here and we're going to place it here. Now what I'm going to do to really add effect to this is I'm going to just record myself talking as that video is showing on the screen. So this is where I use the narration. So I click over on more, I click on voice narration. And all I need to do here is click on this button here, start voice. So I'm gonna click on this button. Hello and welcome to today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. It's about ways that I use Camtasia to make my educational videos. Save, and there it is on the screen. Now, that's kind of quite a lot of fun straight away. And if we play that back then, we're now gonna have a video with narration. So let's play that bit of video and just see if it's worked. Hello, and welcome to today's video. I really hope, okay, no problem at all, but this could be really nice. And it's a technique that if any of you are watching my videos, you can see that I use quite often. I'm now gonna put the subtitles on top to add another element to that. And then I'm gonna reposition the subtitles into the middle of the screen and make them much bigger. So I'm gonna pull them out. And I really like this effect and I've actually used this technique at the beginning of several of my videos. So now watch the result of this again. No scripting from me, just using really the behaviors in Camtasia. Hello and welcome to today's video. It's a technique I really love. You can see that narration can be very powerful. Now another thing I really like about Camtasia is it makes it just so easy to share the videos. And I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. If I just come up here on export, and the most obvious one that I'm gonna use straight away is I'm just gonna to go to YouTube. Now, if you've already added in the link as I have here to my video, then literally I just write the title, give it a description, put the tags in and click on export and that will go straight up onto my YouTube channel. In other words, all you need to do is to add your, your Gmail address and then the connection will always be there. You don't have to keep adding it in every time you upload a video. No, you can just literally upload a video instantly. Now, another thing, of course, you can do is export the video and save it onto your computer. So you just click on local file. And again, Camtasia really makes this easy to do. And there's a lovely feature here. So we can give it a name, choose where we want to save it. So let's say, for example, I want to save it onto my desktop. 
But one of the things I really like is that we can compress the video very easily. For example, if in, instead of going full screen, we wanna compress it down to say 1280 by 720, we just click on that option and then click on export. Now, for those of you that know a little bit more, you can even go into some of the options in terms of encoding etc now generally i don't use change these i keep them to the normal dimensions but i do often choose rather than to compress the video or to generate the video at full screen i produce it at a slightly smaller size particularly if i'm uploading the video onto a system where i've got a limited amount of space for example my patreon channel is limited in the number of videos i can have on there so i can just compress them but the quality is still superb Okay, really hope you enjoyed that video. Hope that gave you an idea of why I really like Camtasia as my choice of video editing technology when I'm making my educational videos for my YouTube channel and the educational videos that I generate for other companies, etc. Don't forget, if you want to come along to that presentation, then if you do see this video before the 5th of December, look in the link below in the description and you can sign up. You do need to sign up if you want to attend that event. Finally, if you do want more free Camtasia videos, then please come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com and come over to this section here, screen capture, and there's loads of different sections of Camtasia videos that you can make use of. I am actually a recommended Camtasia tra trainer. You will see me on their website, recommended. I don't work for Camtasia, they simply recommend me as a trainer. And if you do want training with me, either on a one-to-one -one basis or or as part of an organization, then you can contact me from the website teachertrainingvideos.com. Thank you very much, and I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.